just outside taking the dogs for a walk. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, not a sky, well, there's a few clouds in the sky, um, but it's cold and it's clear and crisp. These are my absolute favorite days in the winter. So I thought I'd take them out for a little bit of exercise and then I'm gonna go in and do a couple of crafts. Hey guys, hey babe. already <laughs> come on <laughs> still laying pretty good we get about a dozen, about maybe 11 to a dozen eggs a day. And we have about 19 hens. So I'm just down here checking out my bees. Um, I like to scrape the snow off the bottom board there. They come in and out when it's a nice sunny day like today. I can hear them buzzing around there. I have four hives. Well, I had four hives um, within the last week. This one died. It was the last sunny day we had. I came down to check on them and I didn't hear any activity in the hive. Uh, that's not always, doesn't always mean that they've died. This one, I took the lid off because I was afraid maybe they were so weak from starvation and they had lots of honey. They just died, I'm guessing, from temperature fluctuation. Um, this one, I just checked this one earlier as well, and this one, and they're all quite active. I just tap on the side of the hive and you can hear them. And hear them in there. This is just an insulated cover and there's also one on the inside underneath that that lid there. So fingers crossed that all three of my remaining hives survive the winter. I'm back from my walk and I thought I would come in and make some pressed flower cards so I thought I'd just do a little craft. Um, I pressed these flowers back in the fall I think in the summer I just kind of gathered them whenever so I'm gonna turn them into some cards today. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So for starters, I have these um, cards here. I got these from the dollar store and it comes with uh, a card here. You just fold it along the crease. It's a nice, nice thickness. It's a nice card stock and it comes with uh, an envelope. So they come in packages. I don't know how many is in there usually, maybe about 10, 10 cards, 10 envelopes. Um, various colors so I got those from the dollar store so I'm sure you can get them cheaper online but anyway I grabbed those for now um, I'm gonna need a paintbrush and some clear glue and I'm gonna use some tweezers to position the um, dried flowers onto my card and then I have these books they've got the dried flowers in them I just um, put the dried flowers in between some parchment and stack the book so when I gathered these these ones are let's see if these are the they don't really hold their color that well but they're still pretty so I've got some um, clover here and you can see um, some of it has kept its color some of it's gone brown I've read where if the water content is too high on the flower or the wildflower or weed that you're that you're using then it'll go brown. So there's certain ones that are better for pressing and ones that aren't so good for pressing. These ones in a phone book, and a phone book works really well. You, you probably wouldn't even need the parchment in phone book, but so you see I did some more clover here. This is the um, white sweet cl clover and that, that dried nicely, so that'll look pretty. You'll see I have them all laid out on a paper so, um, so I can see what I've got. These chive blossoms, they, they kept their color pretty nicely. I also have some pink yarrow and the leaves are nice and ferny and feathery. They're a nice silver, silver green color. Um, again, the sweet clover and red clover, it didn't really um, keep its color that well. I've got some more over here with the yarrow as well. Um, I've got some vetch, um, just one little Queen Anne's lace there and a couple of yellow flowers, some daisies and cornflower. Cornflower, or excuse me, not cornflower, but chicory. Chicory didn't 
really keep its color that well either, but I'll still use it. It'll, it'll be fine. So I've chosen my card. I've chosen a white one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some of these dried flowers and I'm going to make an arrangement on here before I glue them down. So that way I can move the flowers around if I want. And then as I have them placed, I'll just pick them up with my tweezers so that I don't kind of squish them or wreck the leaves anymore. And I'll dab some glue onto it and then put it down onto the uh, paper. Okay, I've got my flowers arranged on my card, how I think that they look kind of pretty. And what I'll do is I'm going to, they're not glued down yet. So I'm going to lift each one up and put some glue on the bottom of it and put it down in all the leaves as well. So it stays in that, in that pattern. So you want to glue, um, just paint a little bit of glue on each petal. So you don't want to put too much of it on. You don't want it to seep through the card. You want the petal to stick nicely. Just a little bit on the stem, if you can see it. And then take your tweezers and place it where you want it on the paper. And then I just take the end of another paintbrush and pat it down. There's my card. It's done. You could actually put, um, there's some sort of a paper. I think it's called clear contact paper and you can put that over top as a as a sealant or I'm sure you could probably just paint some clear glue over it too. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll put a piece of parchment over top of it when I send it out to my aunt and I just, I don't know if I showed you this or not, but I just used this kind of glue. It's just craft glue that you get from, I think we just got that from the dollar store as well. So, so yeah, that's how I do my press flower cards. I just want to mention that although I dried these in the summer, it doesn't take that long to dry them. I, I just forgot that I had them. So it, it takes about a week or maybe two weeks actually. So um, if you have some flowers that somebody gave you, or if you want to go to the store and get a bouquet, you can just dry those in between the pages of a hardcover book, or they even sell them online. Um, you can get pressed flowers online as well. So if you want to do a little craft, so we can do something like that and brighten somebody's day, um, that's a quick little craft that you can do. So. If you enjoyed this video um, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will have a lot more content coming out soon. Thanks!